You know how dad's meal was always, oh, let's cook breakfast for dinner. This is that. We're basically kind of mimicking an everything bagel sandwich, which is salmon, everything bagel, cream cheese, and chives. We're using everything bagels to make consomme. The consomme basically is an ultra clarified broth that is packed full of flavor, but it's very clear. We're gonna clarify it using agar agar. It's a clarification technique that's super simple. It was developed by Dave Arnold. Kind of like deceptively looks like chicken stock, except it's more clear and more flavorful. Do what you want at home. If you want veggie stock, if you want chicken stock, you can do all other stuff. Um, for this, I only want to taste bread and everything bagel toppings. We're gonna dry these bagels out. They're gonna expand up and they're gonna soak up a lot of liquid. So we don't want too many bagels. So here is three and a half. God, these are stale. All that gobbledygook here that's falling off the bottom, you wanna keep that. If you order everything bagels with cream cheese and you don't take that parchment paper where everything fell off and then pour it over your cream cheese, I don't know what you're doing with your life and you're a monster. We are gonna toast these in the oven so they're nice and golden brown, not burnt. So that goes in the oven at 350, but magic happens. So with this hand, and with this hand, some's already toasted. How are we gonna extract flavor, do you say? How do we compound things? How do we make things move faster? We're gonna use, my friend, the pressure cooker. The toppings are really what makes an everything bagel taste like an everything bagel. What we did is a tablespoon of dried garlic, a tablespoon of dried onion, a tablespoon of poppy, and a tablespoon of sesame seeds. No salt, just equal parts of those things. All right, so that is your flavoring. We're going to add about 10 cups of water. This is gonna look like the grossest thing you've ever seen. We're gonna put this on. First try, first try, first try. First try. We are going to cook this on high heat, gotta lock it, for a good 20, 25 minutes at full pressure. We're gonna get kind of the other stuff going. And um, the yield on this is like after you strain it, you're gonna get about 600 grams of liquid. This is the clarification agar technique. Whatever volume of liquid you have, you are gonna use 0.2% of that volume of liquid. What we're gonna do is we gotta get a hyper accurate scale. You know which friend it is that has one of these. The friend will probably tell you to uh, weigh powders on a piece of paper so you can get it off. 1.20, so that is the percentage off of 600 grams. 20, 25 minutes goes by. We're gonna take this. We're gonna run it in cold water just briefly just to get the, uh, the pressure down into a place where we can open it. Now, this is where we gotta kinda move a little fast. So, opens up, off to the side. You see the inside? That looks gross. We're gonna take this and we're gonna get about 600 grams out if I estimate correctly. Look how gelatinous and nasty all that is. <laughs> this is like how you lose a bet. We have our grams waiting, and it's okay if there's a little bit of poppy seeds in there because uh, we are going to clarify this. So we have our agar, we have our whisk. We're gonna start working it in right away. You can see the agar already starting to thicken. It is going to jump and attach itself to anything that is of mass, basically. We're gonna put this in the fridge just so the gel starts to set, and then we're gonna pull it out and then strain it into the liquid. I have a piece of salmon here. The less sawing motion, the better. Olive oil, be generous with it. So we're just gonna lay these pieces of fish down. That skin is gonna get super, super crispy, and we're just gonna cook from the bottom up, and it's gonna be a relatively quick process. And while that happens, we'll leave the top rare, pretty much raw. So when we flip it in the hot broth, when it sits in there, it's gonna finish cooking the other half. In the meantime, let's get our toppings together. We're just gonna do a few chives. I'm gonna add a little bit of smoked salmon as well, just because I think it's cool to have the dueling salmons going on. You see the colors coming up, it's about halfway. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it off the heat and we're gonna let it just sit there and just slowly, 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 slowly come up. So we got our consomme, or what is gonna be our consomme, out. We're gonna break it up in little sections just like so. Then, 
We're gonna lay it in our cheesecloth. And what's gonna come out is a clarified, absolutely clarified broth. We're gonna gather this up, like so. So what you're gonna start to see here is a liquid come out. And when it came out of the pot, it was very, very cloudy. This is also very, very cloudy. Now, if you notice down here, this is what we have going on. See how absolutely clear that is, that liquid? That is a clarified consomme. We're gonna reheat this on the stove top. Bling! We're gonna take one of our pieces of fish right there. We have our crispy skin sitting up on top, and this side is still very rare, pretty much raw. So we're gonna take our smoked salmon, just as we did before. We're just gonna lay it right in there, next to that beautifully cooked fish. So like any consomme, you're gonna add it in last, super hot into the bowl. Oh my God, that smells like everything bagels. That hot broth, I can see it on the side. It's already coloring the rest of the salmon that wasn't there. We have a little bit of chives that we're gonna add to the top. And as kind of like the coup d'etat, I don't even know what that word means, but it sounds right. We're gonna add a small dollop of cream cheese to the top. And that right there is an everything bagel consomme with salmon and cream cheese. For more you can do this, click below or up high, or sometimes I like to put it over here. So we're gonna roll this around in here. We're gonna make sure that everything is frozen solid. We don't want any pulp. So 